In the same way, we can go through the um, nomenclature or the naming of our bases and their properties and worth uh, just putting these side by side so you get a chance to um, compare the properties of acids and bases. So where acids have a sour taste, bases have a bitter taste. And of course, we don't taste them in order to confirm that. Some of them, because of their corrosive nature, would be very dangerous to us if we did that. Um, bases also form electrolytes in solution. They change color of indicators more often to blue. They have a slippery feel, um, soapy kind of substance. In fact, bases are used to make soaps. Uh, they will accept a proton. And again, this is a concept that we're going to come back to a little bit later and they neutralize acids. So some of the common ones are the hydroxide. So sodium hydroxide, probably the most common one that you'd be familiar with uh, on the top of that list. Uh, but we have calcium hydroxide, barium hydroxide, sodium carbonate. So this one is sodium carbonate. And the one below it is sodium hydrogen carbonate or sodium bicarbonate and ammonia. So this is just a little introduction to some of the naming conventions that we use for acids and bases. These are the most common ones and you really need to keep a little table somewhere that you can keep referring to until you get them set in your mind. Uh, it's one of those exercises that's really worth doing because we're going to spend a lot of time looking at acid-base reactions in this topic. And thanks for watching.